Hey, good morning. I'm down here at the big barn feeding the calves. It's getting a little bit late, but I had to fix the fence. So I set up a little rotational grazing area here in the hay field. This, there's like a little slope area. And we've got it set up for the calves. And that was all fine and dandy until I scared the calves. Oh, night before last, I guess it was. Uh, pulling a feed trough down the driveway. Bad idea. I scared all the calves and Clara ran through the fence. Um, they were still in the field, but she still ran through the fence. Hey, Noelle, hold on. So anyway, um, I'm going to show you the calves here in this beautiful sunny day. Hey, Clover. Hmm. Gonna try to not get Nicholas in here. He's actually weaned. And if he doesn't know what's going on in here, he'll leave us alone. Gotta keep an eye on him. He's so big, he pretty much can knock me over now. You see how big Noelle's getting too. She's bigger than our nine month old heifer, beef heifer. So you can get an idea how big these brown Swiss are. Now both Nicholas and Noelle are registered brown Swiss. Um, they once I get all the paperwork in, I'll getting, be getting them transferred into our name. And then any future babies that Noelle has, or um, if we get a registered, any other registered brown Swiss, then of course any offspring that Nicholas produces could be registered. But all of Noelle's babies can be registered as long as Nicholas is the papa. And this is Crazy Lady's baby. Um, as I said before, Crazy Lady is going to go to the freezer. She is just not safe um, around us or, or anything. She just kind of runs around crazy and isn't safe. You can see Nikki there just next to that post. He's out in the hay field. It's empty, Noel. Come on. Come on. Go out. Go out. Come on, Clover. Come on. Now, the hot wire out there is not turned on yet. Got to get it turned on before they figure that out. That's the one that just came through the fence. Poor Clara. Everyone ran around when they busted through the fence, but she's the one that's jumped through the fence and got it hung up on her and stuff. I felt really bad. I was trying to be quiet, but a metal feed bin... You know, with the runners on the ground, they're just so loud. I don't have any more, honey. So pretty. Mm -hmm. Are you eating me? Come out.
Just beyond that fence are our three heifers that we're going to have bred. And this gentleman right here in the foreground, he's our new bull. So we got him from someone local to us, someone, someone new, and um, he's a little over a year old. The girls don't seem to be in heat this week, so we're not seeing any, any sign of whether he's mature yet, but he seems reasonably gentle. Last evening was the first time he'd been in a trailer and all things considered, he did pretty well. So I was told by the seller that he is mostly Angus and about a quarter Brangus, which is good. Um, good to add some heat resistance. And the plan is to use him to mate with these girls and then at some point we will put him in the freezer. Um, with having Nicholas growing up, he will, he will be the herd sire. So when it all comes down to it, not being able to rent that bull last week um, was probably a good thing because we'll be able to not only have calves in the future, but also put some more meat in our freezer for a family. He's a little bit smaller than these heifers, which is good. Um, He's nice looking. And these girls want this bucket of feed that I have right here. So I'm gonna walk them out here into this pasture and take them down to the feeder. I don't know if I'll get it done today or here in a couple of days, but I'm going to be putting a electrical fence, single wire across here so I can start rotating them. You can see they've been eating little bits and pieces, but if you can restrict where they're eating, they will eat more of the stuff they don't like as much. These are our ladies. And our one lone rooster, we have to forgive the mess, it needs to be cleaned out. These ladies are the Murray McMurray, um, they were the meat and eggs combo actually, so they were kind of a mix, and they're fun. I've never had just a mix of chickens before. Um, I take that back, I did when I was a kid, we had a mix of banties. This is Penny. You can see she's getting close to popping any day now, really. Got to get them in. Poppy's up here hanging out in the shade, or what she thinks is shade. She's also close to having her babies. Hey, Poppy. Hey. Still holding those babies prisoner? Now they are not overdue. Um, in fact, they're not quite due. But any time in the next month, they should have their babies. And this is Joe. He's a barrow, which means he has been castrated. And he's Paladin's buddy. This is our boar Paladin. These are registered American guinea hogs. They are slower growing. Um, the plan is with the litters from now on that we will have less litters and grow more of them out to about Joe's size. That would be ideal. And he's actually perfect for harvesting. But like I said, he's Paladin's uh, buddy. When the girls are not in here, it helps him just be happier, less lonely.